guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this eye and brow look using the Naked Heat palette. If you didn't know, I was actually part of the campaign for the launch of this palette. At this present moment in time, it's not actually live yet, but I'm sure you guys will see it really, really soon. Me and a bunch of other influencers got this palette very early on and we got to use it. I think the palette's absolutely gorgeous. A lot of you guys knew that I would end up loving it because of the colours. Obviously, these are the most beautiful warm tones. You've got mattes and shimmers and the pigment is fab. It's super good. Like, it's amazing. You might be aware that there was a really poorly done swatch picture by a certain magazine which made this palette look like crap and it's not. A lot of people jumped on the bandwagon and decided to say that this palette was trash before they'd even tried it. But I'm here today to tell you exactly, not even tell you, I'm going to show you exactly how it performs, I'm going to show you how to create this look. I recently actually did a look super similar to this but instead of the blue green glitter I used gold and loads of you guys wanted a tutorial on it so I thought that I would recreate that look using different colours because everyone moans at me for using warm tones all the time. Here you go, here's some blue and green, throw that in the mix. <laughs> It's a shame because you'll see later on in the tutorial, I actually do struggle with the glitter portion of it. I basically layered too many products and it starts moving around a little bit, but I do fix it and I'm going to show you the whole thing. There's a few things that happen that just make it a little bit more difficult for me. Yeah, I managed to finish the look. I hope you like it. If you guys would like to see how I created this eye and brow look, please stay tuned. This is going to happen to this. The way that I did this look is I started out with my eyebrows. So the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrow. I'm going to use my Brow Beater by Urban Decay. And this brow is actually quite a bit more dramatic than what I've been doing lately. But the way I do this is I get my Brow Beater. This is the shade Dark. I draw a line the whole way underneath the brow. And I'm going right under the hairs to the end, so you can see that I'm getting that darkness. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top, at the end of the brow. So you can see the nice and dark. And then I'm gonna just fill in this little sparse bit at the front. Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Brow Precise Gel and we're gonna fill in our brow, just going through the brow hairs making sure they're nice and thick and full, carefully standing all these little hairs at the front upwards so they're nice and bushy. Next I'm going to take my Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in the shade SX7 and I'm going to take my Smith 304 brush, just the tiniest little brush, it's got a nice rounded edge. I think it's for lips. But I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of the concealer I used to use all the time and I decided I want to start using it again. And I'm going to take the tiniest little bit on the lid and I'm just making sure I've got like hardly any product and we're going to carve out underneath our brow. Once we've done that I'm going to take my Urban Decay brush that actually comes in the Naked Heat palette. Because it's synthetic it's really good for blending concealer. And I'm just going to blend that down almost onto my lid, but I'm careful not to get it too much in my crease. It's sculpted brow. Next, I'm just going to grab my Lay and Low Paint Pot. I need a new one. And I'm just going to apply that onto my lid, just a really small amount. And now we're primed and ready for some eyeshadow. So the palette I'm using is obviously the Naked Heat palette. It is so gorge. It's beautiful and I got this when I was actually on a trip with Urban Decay. We were doing some work with the Naked Heat palette and honestly I got it and I used it every single day for the entirety of the trip. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to start with the shade Chaser which is just this one right here. It is a matte nude. We're just going to apply that all over the lid. It is a little bit darker than my primer but that's okay. And I'm going to apply that right up to the concealer just to soften it out a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Sauced which is just here and then I'm going to go in with this one right here. Sauced and then this one which is called Low Blow. And we're just using a Smith 232 brush, super fluffy and we're going to start building that up in the crease. And these shadows are so 
beautiful they're really pigmented the mattes are so gorgeous the shimmers are lovely i don't tend to use too many shimmers in a palette though just usually the highlight color i prefer to use like glitter if you can't tell now i'm going in with low blow which is the darker shade i showed you and i'm just building that up in the crease as well this palette is so good for like day-to-day -day looks but you can also like amp it right up for an evening look like this one Cool. Now I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 224 brush and the shade Cayenne, just here. Cayenne Pepper, don't know if I'm saying it right. And I'm going to go under my eye. I love it. And then I'm actually going to bring that colour up into the crease. And then I'm going to follow that right round into the crease, almost in the inner corner. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Infugo, which I think means something like fire. And we're going to start packing that on the outer corner. And then underneath the eye as well. And then once I get to this stage, I'm going to go back in with Low Blow, the transition shade. And I'm just going to use my brush on its side just to help blend those deeper tones out. So this is obviously, that's gorgeous. I would wear that every day. You know me, the grungy princess that I am. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Ashes, which is this one right here. It's the darkest colour in the palette. It's a really gorgeous deep purple. And we're just going to go in the same spots. We're going to go in the outer corner and then under the eye. And then into the crease. I love it. Right, I'm going to quickly highlight my brow bone using the shade Ounce. It is the lightest shade in the palette and it's got a really nice shimmer to it. If you are fair, that colour would look insane as a highlight on you. And then I'm just going to use my bigger brush just to make sure that that's nicely blended. Now we're going to go into the lid and I'm having a bit of an issue because if you look, my glitter is kind of separating on my lid and I don't know why, it's never happened to me before. So at the same time as doing this eye, I'm also going to try and fix this eye. The good thing about glitters is you can just kind of put more on. I've got my MAC Reflex Transparent Teal. So I'm putting on some more glitter, so I've got a bit of a gluey base. We'll see if that works. Anyway, I'll show you how I did it. And if it's still not working, then we'll find a solution. The way I did this was I used the Liquid Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Vega. Vega. Like Vegas without the S. I kind of drew out a little, almost like a half cut crease. And you don't have to use blue. The look that I did on Instagram that y'all wanted to see was actually using gold, but... I bloody use gold all the time, so I was trying to do something different, and then this happens. Okay, so I did that, and then I got my little Dose of Colours shader brush, and I kind of pat it in. Like so. And then I used my two heavy metal glitters on top, in the shades Amp and Distortion, which are these ones. The blue one, and then the kind of almost translucent, but it's got a greeny hue to it. And then I just packed them on top. So let's bloody see how this goes this time. I feel like I can't open my eyes. Can you see how many layers of glitter I've got on this eye? I mean, come on. And then I'm going in with another one. Yeah, okay, so I know what's happened. The glue and the glitter is making the moon dust shadow move around a little bit, but it's okay. I'm going to try off the bat and put this other glitter on. I'm just patting all those glitters in. I'm going to have to put another layer on. I just wanted to do something colourful. And then I'm going to pat that in. And then we're going to add some more blue glitter. Right, that's looking okay. I definitely like this eye better. Oh, well, it looks the same when I look straight ahead, so that's really all that matters. Oh my god. I'm going to leave it there and see if it starts moving again, and then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glitter and distortion and I'm going to put that under my eye. And I just put it on underneath the inner corner and I bring it quite far down. Like almost like trace your eye bags. Got dark circles? No problem. I love this glitter. It's like greeny blue. No, that one's just green. 
And then I put more blue underneath as well, just to match the tunes. And then I'm just going to pat it with my brush again. Better. I'm going to go back in with the shade Ashes, which is the darkest purple, and I'm just going to bring that in the inner corner a little bit, because I'm noticing it's just not quite as dark. Now my brush is wet. Oh my god. I'm going to glue up my lashes. The lashes I'm wearing are my Lily Lashes in the shade Shade. In the style can. The reason I'm using these again is because I actually wore these with a glittery look already. And when you wear lashes, obviously the glue from the lashes, if you're not wearing liner, the glitter just gets stuck to them. So they kind of end up getting a little bit ruined. Unless you have like hours to like sit and pick all the glitter off. But that's why I end up just wearing the same lashes for a few times whenever I do a glittery look. And then it means that I'm not like wasting them if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to glue these up using my dual glue latex free brush on with a blue hue to it. And it's got green writing on the front. Favourite, favourite. And then we're going to put some mascara on. And I'm going to use my pure fully charged mascara. Oh my god, drop my hairs and my one hairs are absolutely everywhere. And we're just going to pack on a layer of this. See, mascara kind of helps a lot. And I need to pop my inner corner. So I'm just going to use the shade Ounce again from the palette. And I'm just going to press that on the inner corner. This eye looks darker, so I'm going to build it up a little bit. Things are seeming to get better. Oh my god, see what I mean? Separating. Maybe you just need to wait for it to dry and then add more. That is completely my fault. I think I layered the products on too heavily and too quickly. I'm going to use the shade Light Year, the green one. And because the glue is it's just not drying, whatever I've done is just not drying. So this will dry it out. Oh my god, my granny is going to get the fright of her life. It's fine, it's just got depth. A lot of work went into this. Is the lash ready? Kind of. Let's just put it on. Let's just Stick it on and be done with it. Okay, I think I've managed to pull this together. Maybe. You you guys can tell me. What a shame though, because this palette's actually so flipping gorgeous. I should just never try and do anything different. I should just do warm brown smoky eyes forever. I'm just using my loose powder to clean up. The good news, it seems to have stopped moving around. Lashes are secure. Persistence is the key, my friends. Okay, zoom you out. Whee! That was an effort. So you guys, that is the final look. If you have lasted to the end of this tutorial, thank you very much for watching it. Yeah, it turned out that I am still learning. Basically, I think what happened there was I layered too many products too quickly and too much of the product as well. So it just started slipping around a little bit, but I managed to fix it. This has absolutely nothing to do with the palette. I've annoyed myself because I really wanted to show you guys how amazing this palette is. Hopefully you can look past the glitter portion of this tutorial and see it for what it is. A majestic fiery princess. And yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment and press the little bell button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!